In this video, I'll show you how to use document outlines, how to insert a table of contents, and how to use the new summaries feature in Google Docs. Document outlines are a way that users can organize lengthy documents, such as research papers, or shorter documents that cover several topics. There are several reasons why you should use document outlines. They help organize your document, document outlines are used to generate a table of contents, and users who use screen readers rely on document outlines to skim for headings. To view document outlines, click on the Show Document Outline icon to the left of your Google Doc. If you do not see the icon, click View, click Show Document Outline. By default, when you type in a Google Doc, the text style is set to normal text, which we can see here in the menu bar. The different text styles are normal text, title, subtitle, heading one, heading two, and heading three. The numbers after each heading indicate how indented each heading should be when creating a table of contents. Screen readers also use the numbers to organize content into a list that it then provides its users. Here's an example of a document in which I have applied several types of text styles. Here's an example of H1, H2, and H3. If I click on the title, it will take me to the exact location within the document and I can verify in the menu bar which text style it is. Here's an example of a document in which I did not apply text styles to. If I click on the title, you'll notice that it's still set to normal text. I want to point out that although text may appear bold, underlined, or have other features that make it look like a heading, if it is not tagged appropriately, Google and a screen reader will consider it normal text and will not know that it is important. I've clicked on each one of these outline items and verify that they are all normal text. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove them from my outline. To correctly add headings to an outline, simply highlight the text. In the menu bar, click Styles and select the text style you would like to apply. You'll notice that Google has applied a custom text style, which is meant to be helpful. However, oftentimes teachers or professors require students to use a specific font size, type, and color. In this case, I'm going to undo, and to change the text style of a title or a heading, select the text you want to change. In this case, I have it formatted exactly as my professor requested. Once your text is formatted the way that you want, simply highlight the text. In the menu bar, click Styles. I want to make this an H1. To the right of H1, hover over the triangle. Click Update to Match. Once you make that change, all the text in your document with the same text type, for example, if I had other H1s in this document, it would automatically update them. And moving forward, when I select a text as H1, it will continue to match my custom formatting. To create a table of contents, click where you want the table of contents to go. Click Insert and scroll down, hover over Table of Contents, and select the Table of Contents that you would like. To delete a Table of Contents, simply right-click, click Delete Table of Contents. Remember, the Table of Contents reflects the titles and headings of the document, so if you do not see something listed in the Table of Contents that should be listed, you'll have to find the section in your document and assign it the appropriate text style. Conversely, if you see something in your table of contents that should not be included, navigate to the section of the document, highlight the text, and change it to normal. When you make edits to your outline, your table of contents does not reflect the changes that you made. Oftentimes, users think they did something wrong, but that is not the case. Simply click in the table of contents and click the refresh icon. A new feature in Google Docs is Summaries. To add a summary to your document, above the outline and to the right of the word Summary, click on the plus icon. Google AI will create a summary for you. If you are happy with the summary, click inside the box, hit the Tab key, and hit Enter. You can edit your summary at any time by hovering to the right of Summary and clicking on the pencil icon, and hit Enter when complete. It's important to note that when you share your Google Doc, the summary of your document will be displayed below. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.